Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm trying to make my own creative universe like how the late Stan Lee did. For this particular footage, I'm going to introduce a character that's affiliated with the character introduced in the previous footage that I've done. And if you guys bear with me and try to uh, tag along, I'll introduce this individual to you guys. Just bear with me and hopefully it would be satisfactory on your guys' behalf. Zilber, number one, the beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 28, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across New York City until we find ourselves in an apartment room and notice a man on his laptop. This story is particularly about him. His name is Zachary Collins. He is currently having an online chat with a girl he's attracted to, a girl named Peggy, who he's unaware to be the legendary Priantrum Nonsiculus. After a month of messaging and getting to know each other, Peggy asks if they can meet on the roof of his apartment, and he agrees. The next day, Zachary waits on the apartment roof until he sees a light appear out of nowhere, and Peggy arrives in all her glory as it fades. Whoa. Peggy. What are you? Zack, I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier, but I am the Priantrum Nonsiculus, the goddess of conception. Uh... Zachary replied in concern. Sorry, Peggy, but I think since you're a goddess, I think we should wait a while. Okay, Zach, Peg finally replied as she disappeared in another cosmic light. Feeling deep down that something might be a bit off for her new supposed lover. Due to the anxiety of his unexpected discovery, Zachary became a severe alcoholic. After a month of drinking, he ended up dead from a morbid traffic accident. Eventually, Peggy learned of this and decided to bring him back to life. She used her powers and transformed his soul into a silver-coated man wearing a pair of matching shorts. What have you done to me? I'm a complete freak show now, he yelled at Peggy in disgust. Sorry, Zack. You've died in an accident involving booze. I've decided that since you love me so much, I should make you my sidekick. It's the best I could do. After a while, the Priantrum Nonsiculus explained to Zack about all of the things he needs to know about his identity and powers. Now accepting his new status, Peggy decided to name him Zilver, and to this day, Zilver and Peggy became nearly inseparable lovers in their home in Escalympius. The end. Well, I hope that's satisfactory on your guys' behalf, and if you want, you could like, subscribe, and comment down below. It's all on you. And as of right now, I have 997 views, and hopefully things would be more diverse once I end up in the four digits. That's even the right way to put it. I hope it's satisfactory, and I hope you guys are impressed so far. And until next time, I'm Leviathan. Enjoy your times in the long run, anybody who's watching. And I promise you, I'll do all that I can to make sure that my creations succeed, because they have a destiny, if you guys understand. You know? And until next time, I'm Leviathan, in transmission.